Ghostbusters trash because just another internet can't have gets changed. <sighs> Organized trolls are viewing the remake trailer is inevitable, but it won't stop the thrilling transformation of pop culture that is finally taking place. How can the eye refuse to see the Ghostbusters reboot guy be masturbating if we can see both his hands? Angrily, baby man, it's the new Ghostbusters trailer. Ghostbusters is the most disliked trailer on YouTube, proving misogyny wins in droves. How sexism ruins Ghostbusters for everyone, even the people who don't care. Twitter shits itself that the whiny man baby refuses to review Ghostbusters. Oh, I'm so original. Back off, man. They're scientists. New Ghostbusters trailer gets slimed by sexist trolls. The sexist outcry against the Ghostbusters remake gets louder. Fans are protesting the new film ahead of its July release, with many suspiciously insisting their complaints have nothing to do with the movie's female leads. You know, it no longer comes to a surprise to me that when someone criticizes something that you groups consider to be progressive and big and supposedly fighting for the right thing that you will immediately call that person problematic because that's the only way that you can debunk said criticism. Poorly, to be honest. I mean, James from the Angry Video Game Nerd could say that he's not going to watch the Ghostbusters remake and you call him a man baby with his male tears and yet a comic book female fan says that she is not interested in the Ghostbusters remake and is probably just as influential in the geek community and nobody bats a fucking eyelid. Now look, I'm not saying that none of the 800,000 plus disliked group are misogynistic hell. I do believe there are a few people in there who are women haters, who do live in their mother's basements and surprisingly actually have Wi-Fi. But if 800,000 plus people are misogynistic, then why is it that Alien is celebrated to this day? Or something like The Hunger Games, or Brave, or Vita, or even Titanic, or, you know, one of my favourite Disney films of all time, Mulan. All of these critically placed and celebrated to this day. Let me take it to video game terms. Why is it that Mirror's Edge is one that was critically praised and still talked about to this day to the point where it's actually getting a prequel, yet Duke Nukem Forever got about 50% of Metacritic and no one talks about it, despite the fact it's supposed to have this big male lead role that every feminist considers every single man to be a gang swilling misogynistic. Why is that game not talked about at all? But the fact is, is that it doesn't matter what we say, because no matter what criticism comes towards anything that you think is progressive, you're just going to use some sort of problematic term to try and debunk said argument. That's all you fucking do. And this sort of thing reminds me of the Annie remake, when there was black actors cast in what was considered white character roles, and people were saying how influential that was going to be, yet it was critically panned, it bombed at the box office, and as soon as it was gone from cinemas, it was gone from everyone's minds. Or what about the Power of Girls remake? When that was coming out, people were saying how amazing it was going to be with all this girl power, and they would even talk about how they were fighting a men's right activist, and yet... It's considered to be absolute utter dog shit. Because the fact of the matter is, just because it's trying to be progressive, and I use that term loosely, doesn't mean it's actually excused from any criticism. The fact is, if it sucks, it fucking sucks. End of story. And look, maybe the Ghostbusters movie will actually be good. Maybe it'll be something different or something. I highly doubt that, but maybe it'll be good. But you people have been actually convinced me of seeing it anyway. I mean, the only thing that you people keep clinging on about is the female lead roles. The female lead roles. The female lead roles. Okay, so it has female lead roles. Doesn't mean it's going to be good. You haven't said anything else. I mean, fucking hell. Catwoman had a lead role and that was completely banned. And just to finish this off, I don't believe that this trailer would have had that much backlash if it wasn't for you guys trying to exclude any sort of criticism as just being misogynistic man babies who are crying their male tears into the, your cups. It's because of you guys that I think that this film is going to bomb at the box office because you guys are just trying to exclude any sort of criticism towards it as nothing more than misogynistic. So well done guys. You were the reason that Ghostbusters will most likely fail. Nice work.